Yeah. Yeah, I need an ambulance. Yeah, the back of the dog in the pond owns wheels right away. You know, you're doing me head in. You know, I should have told Cindy as soon as I found out. Who even bought her that gin anyway? Right, well, she's having a tough time. It's not like Cindy's any help. Now, why isn't she picking up? Ella is going to have the worst hangover of her life. But the good news is there's no lasting damage. We've been trying to get hold of Cindy, but we've had no luck. I know. I, um, I've got to call my dad. I'm pretty impressed with you today. What? Well, just today? <laughs> you know what I mean. You hardly know Ella and you stuck around until she woke up. It's pretty decent, huh? Yeah, well, I kind of feel responsible. When she collapsed outside my garage. Of course, I get to flirt with all the hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> right, my dad's on his way. Can I see Ella now? Yeah, she was asking after you, actually. She was asking after you, too. OK, well, prom wasn't that good anyway. Knock, knock. So, you're back in the land of the living, eh? Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Try a bottle of gin, apparently. Look, that's why I didn't get you the alcohol. I know how dangerous it is for you kids knocking it back like that. Give it a rest, yeah? Yeah, she obviously feels bad enough already. All right, chill out. Sorry, I didn't mean to have a go at you. Just I know how important your liver is. You need to take care of it. Trust me. Yeah, I got you some magazines. Thanks. Leah told me you saved my life. Hardly. I, I just called you an ambulance. Still, thank you. You don't know how much it means to me to know you care. Yeah, well, if my Sophie was in that situation, I'd want someone to help her out. Not that she'll be drinking until she's at least 35. He's such a good dad. Right, well, uh, I'll leave you both to it. See ya. See? This is proof I was right all along. He wanted to check I was okay. He's bought me magazines. That doesn't mean anything. We have a connection. It's so obvious now. He even told me off the way Steedos to you. Warren Fox is my real dad. Sorry. Warren's what now? Leah's gone home to grab you some clothes. So? Have you spotted Cindy about this Warren stuff? I can't. Why not? She'd want to help you. She really cares about you. No, she doesn't. She's gone to Blackpool. You what? Erin Hilton. Apparently she needed some time after everything with Grace. Oh, she just left you here? How do you think I got the gin? I know where she keeps her stash. It's not like she was here to stop me. Ella, why don't you say something? You know Leah would have invited you to come and stay with us. It's fine. I'm used to being dumped by people. Is that why you drank all that booze? And why you now think that Warren Fox might be your dad? He is. I found out Mark can't have kids, and Warren and Mum had a thing around the time she got pregnant with me. Right. He was so kind today. He bought me these. It's almost as if he already knows I'm his. Maybe he does. Do you think I should ask him? I think... you should take things slow. You'll still be groggy from the booze. You don't want to say something you're going to regret. It'll be fine. It's obvious Warren cares about me. Just wait, I'll be back here to check on me any minute. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Um, I was just showing Warren the stationery supplies. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I love stationery, me. 
Well, I better get back to it. My break's over. So. Yeah, well, maybe next time you can show me the hole punch. <laughs> I don't really like stationery. Me and Sharon were just, you know. I get it. I'm more concerned about Ella. You know, Cindy's gone AWOL. She's gonna have to come and stay with me and Leah for a few nights. So? Wait, are you not gonna go back in and see her again? No. She seems fine. I only hung around for, you know, Sharon. It's just, I really think she would like it. Why? I mean, you seem to have everything in hand. Besides, I'm not really good with other people's kids.